is it wise to choose someone who is financially stable over someone you love more or loves you more? This is to all genders, whether you're a man or a female. If you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. This is Time with Dr. Adams. And please subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Time with Dr. Adams. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. My name is Dr. Saki. This is my channel and you can call me Dr. Adams. Today, I want us to discuss money and love. Okay. So... A lot of people have this dilemma that when you are entering a relationship or you plan on settling down, is it better to choose someone who is financially stable over love? And like I said, it applies to both genders, whether you're a man or a female. So let's start with what is financial stability? Money. Money, money is good. I can't overemphasize it. Money, eh? Sika. Money is so good. Money is freedom. Uh, me that I'm sitting here, I want to go on a vacation, but I have to work. Like, I love what I do, but I really want to go on a long vacation. And it all depends on money. Because I say money, I can use it to pay my school fees, which I am. Another thing is, I need money to buy a camera. <laughs> so that I don't use the phone to take my videos. So money really is freedom. And money is good. Don't let anyone lie. You see, cut the air, Papa. It's how you use it, you know. A whole another there's a question mark. And then, what is love? Love is love. <laughs> I can't. It's a feeling. It's an action. It shouldn't be just words. It, it's a doable or action word. And sometimes I can sit in the trotro, and then I'll be daydreaming about boys, daddy, and I'll be smiling just like a frog <laughs> or a sheep. <laughs> If you see me eh, walking somewhere absent-minded, I probably might be talking, uh, uh, thinking about what's that because that is love. It gives you this whole good uh, chemical feeling you cannot explain, but it's not just words. It is an action. Yes. So then, should we, whether you're a man or a woman, consider money over love? We're going to talk about it, honey, honey, small, small, here and there. So, dear man, dear man, I want you to know that if you are dating a woman, it is not your responsibility to look after the person or to look after the woman. No, it is not your responsibility to look after your girlfriend through a nursing training school or teacher training school. Why? Because it is a relationship. You are just doing boyfriend, girlfriend. You are not married. If you are married, that is fine. But don't use your small money be that you have on you to look after a girl through nursing training school, through teacher training school, and then later on she decides to choose someone over you and you come and cry on social media and do, right? Dear, uh, he keep me anonymous letters. No! If you want to do nyamie juma, chale, nyamie juma, no. But that NG way juma, yeah, jai, we have left it behind. Mr. Rao, if you haven't left yours behind, to be 2020, no, just leave it behind right now today. Okay, if you want to look after a girl through school, that is super. But do it with a good conscience and know that after the four years, after the three years through her training, if she leaves you up, oh yeah, you need you, man, and God bless you. <laughs> dear girl, dear woman, you are in the university. Your parents are looking after you through school. They give you school fees and chop money. And you are using this, this money that your parents are giving you to cook for a boy breakfast lunch supper you do this uh help me through school four years this boy starts national service both of you don't have and you are giving yours to him again finally he gets a place to stand very well and he decides to marry someone else i'm not saying that guy has done well though that guy hasn't done well but just know that it wasn't your responsibility to look after that guy it was a relationship if you have give it is not your responsibility to look after someone when you are in a relationship. If you are in for love, don't even not <laughs> Any other thing you are doing is just out of uh, love. But don't think the person owes you something 
We are all supposed to be selfless and loving and caring and giving when we are in a relationship. But do not go and complain later on to the gentleman again. Dear gentleman, mm -hmm. if you decide to go for a rich girl, when I say a rich girl, she comes from a rich family, who is not used to sitting in a trotro, is always taking private cars, uh, she has a private driver or someone who drives her around, this person will expect you and here to be moving about in uh, sorry in taxis, in Ubers, in taxifies and boats, all that. She won't be comfortable in a church if she is a uh, hooray. But such a person, that is how you met the girl. Oh, don't start dating the girl or get married later and say um or, or spend sika too much. Uh, she's not thinking about you. No, that is how you met the girl. That is her lifestyle. That is how she was brought up. And there's nothing wrong with that. She is used to that kind of life. So you dare, gentlemen, have to just cut your coat according to your size. If you like such a girl, keep that maintenance. Eh? How you saw her, Shepena, you like that. No? Support that Shepena life. If not, she won't, bro. Just move. And let someone who can support that dream. Dear woman, if you start dating a man, who is not working and then he's not ready to settle down or get married and you think you are financially stable to take care of all the costs of marriage if you, you, you get married to him and when you are married he's still not working and he's still not giving any interest to start working then you start complaining Charlie that is how you met him and you decided to go ahead with it in life eh? Every choice that we make has its consequences. And when the consequences come, we have to face it heads on because that is our choice. We are all different people. Yes, what am I saying? Love and money. Why can't we have both, really? You can have both. But definitely in this life, some things can be equal. So it depends on you. What are your core values? Cover your core values and you decide. Is it love first? then money or money first then love you can have both you don't need to choose one so i know i have friends who are very rich they got married to rich people because they love them so there is the money and then there is the love i know people who married who are uh, what do you call it married for love and then are complaining pregnant no money to take care of the kids at home and are complaining with all the love the reason why they got married was love and they are complaining because there's no money and then there's other way people who married because of money and now are yearning for love but all these are our choices so choose what will work for you and then when the consequences come you see face it head on because you made that choice you can choose love and money so me, Dr. Adams, I chose someone who was working, someone who has a vision. We always say vision doesn't say buy beans, of course, but I didn't choose someone who wasn't working. Me, personally, I think when two people aren't working, they have no business to do lobby lobby. <laughs> because what money will you use to take car to and visit that person? What money will you use to buy credit to call that person? That is my personality. If you are not working, you have no business doing lobby lobby. Work. Both of you should work. Go in for a woman who is working. Go in for a man who is working. I'm not saying go in for a down goatee or something. But someone who is working. Someone that is not a, struggling to feed their, themselves. When I was dating boy's daddy, I had a list of uh, men. He, he knew his life was always last. I think I have to make a video on, on this. <laughs> his name was always last. I had people who were far richer than him. But then why did I choose boy's daddy? He's not struggling to feed himself and we are both doing okay. We are not super rich. We are not where we want to be yet. But we are going step by step. But remember, it was my choice. I could have married the first person who is super rich, promised me a car, not just promised, saw it, a car, a house, and in fact, the, 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 the plans were in session to build a hospital. I could have chosen that person. But no, my spirit didn't go with that. I'll make a video on choices later when you are choosing a life partner. My spirit didn't go with that. I could have. And I could have, people will say, you will learn to love the person. I can't tell because I haven't been there. 
but then I decided to go in with someone, a spirit man, someone I love. So, so I chose to go in for someone who wasn't struggling to feed himself. One financial guru told me that before you get married, ask yourself that your bank account, can it feed yourself? Should you not get salary for next three months? Can your bank account feed only you for three months? If it can, then fine. Because whatever, if you eat one bowl of cake, you can share with a human being. So you can go in for love and financial stability all together, but not down go to level. Someone who is financially stable, that both of you can take care of yourself individually. Then when you come together, you can make something work. These are my opinions. If you don't agree, Charlie, you don't have to agree. Just tell me in the comment section below what you think, if you don't agree. And if you agree, tell me what you think in the comment section. I just believe that you can have both love and financial stability all together. So thank you for joining me. This was Time with Dr. Adams. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. My poem, my poem, you want to make me